Good evening folks, uh, this is my second what have you been buying now video uh, where I basically show you what I've been buying from AliExpress and eBay and such like um, so without further ado we'll just get cracked on tonight so the first item, uh, not particularly interesting just a couple of little uh, 20mm uh, waterproof speakers uh, I don't know how good those will be uh, but those were uh, the pair delivered uh, for I think 50, 58 pence I think it was AliExpress um yeah so just for just a handy to have for little projects um next item i've got is this um which is a little mp3 uh decoder circuit uh, a module if you like um and basically it's uh, a micro sd or a trans flash card slot whatever you want to call it um power speaker and uh, pretty much that's it, uh, and it basically plays uh, MP3s direct off the board. Now, I'm not sure if these pads here are intended for buttons. Uh, there's no instructions or anything with it, uh, so I'm not sure whether it just um, uh, plays automatically when power's applied. I'll need to have a look at it. So I might do a little video on that at uh, some time in the future. Uh, this was 80 pence, including delivery. So, third item tonight. Um, I think Clive did a video on these um, little PIR modules. Excuse the rustling. So yeah, little super cheap PIR uh, module, uh, complete with the free hair. Um, this was 60p including delivery. Um, and yeah, quite handy for, for little Arduino projects or Raspberry Pi, that kind of thing. Um, Again, no instructions, but there's uh, plenty of projects online with these particular modules, so getting the, the pinout uh, data won't be difficult. We've got a couple of uh, variable resistors there, um, obviously to adjust, you know, detection range and such like. So yeah, yeah 60p, again, AliExpress on that one. Um, <clears throat> another AliExpress special. Um, these were just 40... I think it was 40... Six pence including delivery, and it's a little 433 megahertz set uh, transmitter and receiver uh, set. You know, a transmitter and receiver. Uh, again, I don't have any instructions or anything, but again, these are hugely popular um, basically because they're low cost and I think they're relatively long range. But um, I might do a little project with this in a future video, basically showing you how you can interface those with uh, Arduino or maybe even just as a, a standalone circuit you can build yourself. Again, AliExpress. Um, what have we got next? This is another AliExpress one. Um, Arduino Pro Mini. Um, obviously, don't make the Nano anymore anymore, or they're uh, becoming harder to get hold of. But this is, uh, as you see, an Arduino Pro Mini. Uh, the simple. Um, I don't know what frequency this one is, but it's the 328p. Um, let's see if there's any. I can't see any markings for crystals on that. Um, but yeah, just really tiny. Um, Arduino. Uh, really good, these ones, because they're so cheap. Um, there's, you know, you just basically program them and, and have them permanently installed in your, your project. Um, you know, whereas the, the other Arduino is a, a, a bit more expensive and you and, and more for prototyping. Once you've prototyped on a on the, the main, you know, a bit a bigger Arduino, uh, you can upload the code to one of these um uh, you know, basically hook it up uh, as you've done on your your prototyping one if you like, and once you've established that it works, you just leave it in there. Uh, so they're pretty good. I say really cheap. This one was one pound forty including delivery, so really good value, really good value. It does also come with the um, header pins, uh, male header pins, and the right angle header pin for uh, programming. Um, second last, I think. Uh, let's see, that's got my dress all over it, so I won't bring that in. A um, little uh, set of 10 uh, soldering iron tips, uh, 900M compatible HACO, um, but it fits my, or these tips fit my. Uh, CPC uh, 10 my iron absolutely perfectly and you get a really good selection of tips you know a few conical ones one of those really I think it's a T1 uh, that I used the other day um, in one of my videos no I didn't actually upload that video but yeah they're really good good for surface mount stuff um, and some huge uh, or fairly big uh, chisel tips 
Um, yeah, not too bad. Those were just two pounds twenty, including delivery. And yes, before MD says anything, they're not going to be um, brilliant quality. But as I always say, for the hobbyist, they're going to do you fine if you look after them. The last year, year or so, um, these will get minimal use. Uh, the more for specific applications, but for the cost, you know, super, super good value. And last but not least, and I am quite happy with this one, um, because it's going to allow me to do a project, which I'll probably do uh, in a, a video tonight, to be honest, I'll get it started at least. Um, but you may remember me um, showing you this in one of my earlier videos, the little DP20, uh, was it... 20v2a uh, digital programmable uh, power supply module uh, really nice uh, lcd display and you know really nice interface fairly high quality and fairly low cost units um, and i was going to basically put it in an enclosure um, but i needed uh, a power supply and randomly when i was uh, searching on ebay i saw this one come up um, as you see 24 volts uh, 5 amp power supply and it's one of these, albeit Chinese, um, power supplies uh, with this pressed steel cage on. I think it's steel anyway. Um, but this was on an auction um, and I got it for £4.20. I did say it was coming from China. Um, so I was happy at £4.20 to, to wait for that to come. Um, but to my surprise, um, it arrived today. Um, basically about five days after ordering it and it was dispatched from a UK distribution centre uh, it's a £4.20 for this uh, fairly well it's not large in size but it's a fairly good capacity uh, power supply 24 volts 5 amps um, obviously we've got the mains in there and we've got uh, dual outputs presumably uh, common and uh, uh, plus voltage uh, we do have voltage adjust as well uh, now this is the DP twenty V two A means it's twenty volts at two amps as its maximum output. Um, it does require, um, I think it's one or two volts above the uh, maximum output. Now I know that this does output twenty one volts, um, so this is obviously going to be ideal. It does say though in the instructions that the maximum input voltage is twenty three volts. Um, now I have run it at 24 volts and there was no problems I don't know how long it will last if we were to run it constantly that but I'm hoping uh, as you can see it's got the voltage adjust port there I'm hoping that we can drop this down to 23 volts uh, but of course the 5 amps is going to be more than enough you know it's not going to draw anywhere near that but um, yeah that's today's what have you been buying now items let's um, like say I will probably start a video immediately after this one uh, and we'll get this uh, built into the enclosure um, and yeah hopefully that'll make for a fairly interesting video anyway guys uh, as always if you enjoyed this video uh, i found it useful for you know sourcing parts that you might not normally source and um, please give me the thumbs up uh, and subscribe and all that good stuff um, yeah any comments questions please leave them below until next time guys take care of yourselves and all the best